hello guys good morning and welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i have a beaming face beaming smile on my face right now because i've just managed to get myself and three of my friends some tickets to see sabrina in manchester in march so I'm excited for that um but this morning i've literally i was driving over and i was like oh it's getting close to the time and then i was in the queue for ages so parked up checking on my phone um but we've got them we've secured the goods we're off to see sabrina let me know if anyone else is going to watch her as well especially if you're in manchester um anyway speaking of in manchester i am in um a place called manchester fort shopping park where there is a new oxfam superstore that has just opened and i saw on tiktok that they have a load of zara home bits now you guys know i've talked about zara home in oxfam before but you never know when they're going to get a delivery so i got really lucky one time and ever since it's been like drips and drabs here and there and loads of zara clothes as well but um with them having a superstore i saw on tiktok someone went and there was loads of zara home bits so hopefully we'll get lucky i'm not keeping my well i am keeping my fingers crossed i'm not getting my hopes up because i do feel like because the shop's been open for a few days most of it's probably already gone but who knows there might be some bits left so let's go see what's inside let's see if we can grab any bargains and then whilst i'm here i'm not sure what my plan is this afternoon well i can't be here too long because i've actually booked myself in for my first ever chiropractor appointment which i'm a little bit nervous for but it's basically i get really stiff neck and sore neck and it just feels like it needs cracking and slept funny on it a few weeks ago and it's just never quite had the same range of movement since and also i have had for years now like lower back pain because i've been horse riding a couple of times it's like niggling and that's why i stopped horse riding in the first place so i want to get that sorted so that i can keep up with the horse riding because i do really enjoy it and miss it so anyway that's this afternoon in a few hours so i'll let you know how that goes <laughs> it will be cricking and cracking and oh he did say i had a call with him last night video call and he did say that the likelihood is uh because of my pelvic misalignment um that i might need like ongoing sessions initially rather than just like one session and i'm done so we'll see we'll see how we go today if we book any more but i'm pretty sure i will stick with it because like i said i want to be able to get back into horse riding and not have to worry about back pain or neck pain that's on the agenda for today otherwise i'm not quite sure what else i'm just i'm just in a really happy mood because my sabrina tickets i've got quite good tickets as well so i'm really looking forward to it we've got sitting tickets um sort of on the side quite close to the stage so it should be really good a really good day which <laughs> countdown is on to march 13th it's, it's a while but um yeah i'm excited so first things first when i went in i noticed it was a lot bigger they have loads of their stuff that they sell as brand new anyway and then i headed straight to the home section of course i wanted to check out all of the zara home bits first um saw that beautiful wooden caddy which i was tempted for they had a couple of like beauty bits as well from the zara home range like perfumes that kind of thing they had loads of lamps this green and gold one was lovely some bath mats quite a lot of bedding that was the main thing that i noticed bedding cushion covers they had a few of these vases at 8.99 but yeah lots of pillowcases this one at 6.99 i may or may not have picked up um some floor lamps as well i couldn't quite figure this one out but I just thought I'd show it to you anyway. Dog collar, um, some again, some more like home fragrance type products. Quite the selection, I'm not gonna lie. Assassin Bell as well, and just loads of bits that I think it's well worth watching, even though I feel like I've missed out on most of the Zara home bits. The kids section as well had loads more bedding if you have kids. Uh, just some gorgeous like seasonal bits, Easter decor bits. And yeah, really, really liked it. They do also have some like slippers in the kind of footwear section, none of which fit me though. But obviously, as you can tell, they're all brand new. Some Abercrombie, quickly checked out the fashion. They did have quite a few Zara 
brand new with tags um, in as well if you like to check out the Zara fashion but I just my heart is with the home bits if I'm honest and then upstairs they have a huge book section which obviously Oxfam are known for their shops with their like just books even some stores just have the books so yeah loads of good books to have a look through both fiction non-fiction some coffee table books loads of cooking book books I always like to have a look in um, and I just quite like the wholesomeness of that cooking book I also already have this in my kitchen but well worth getting if you haven't got it already I didn't on this occasion because like I said I do already have it um, and also worth checking out underneath the covers for books they also have a cafe yeah a cafe we're back in the car definitely still got plenty of Zara home bits and they did say that they get deliveries every day not necessarily from Zara home but deliveries every day they don't know when they're going to get them from Zara home uh, but she did say there was loads more and I was like don't tell me that I don't want to hear it um but whilst I'm here I've noticed as well I've not been to this shopping park in ages I used to come here all the time because I used to live in Salford and it's really near um, but Asda Living, so there's an actual full Asda Living store here, which I only tend to usually go to the Asda supermarket for when I'm doing like homeware shopping at Asda. So I think I might have been there, grab a coffee. Um, there's a one below here as well, which is like a kind of cheaper than pound because I think everything's cheaper than a pound. So maybe have a little browse in there and then head over to my chiropractor appointment. Definitely well worth checking out this um, store loads of books there's even a little cafe upstairs as well so a nice little trip out I just realized did I come on and say there's a one below as in like everything a pound and below because I've just realized it's actually now called one beyond it's everything from a pound which is so cheeky I feel like Poundland is just the same isn't it nothing is a pound or less anymore these days you know inflation in that so it's now one beyond so if I said one below ignore me I was wrong so this is actually it oh my gosh how have I just missed this pumpkins 10 pounds that cushion I just don't like the inner it's a shame it's not like a good quality inner that one but otherwise really really pretty but yeah they have quite a few of the kind of like Stacey Solomon bits in here as expected but as you can tell it's double story so I've come straight up to the homeware section who remembers this I bought this so long ago now 14 pounds they've actually changed the color of it though the one that I got I ended up donating because it was more pinky but this is a really nice kind of stone gray color 14 pounds that, that one is just spotted another pumpkin 15 pounds love that it's like a check pattern and then this get cozy cushion is new as well at nine pounds got a couple of nice baskets actually i like this uh kind of white seagrass one at seven pounds and then these are quite nice if you just want like a natural hessian laundry bag these are only six pounds you know what you could use that as well as a plant holder although it's quite big here and there seems to be a lot of stuff everywhere like this kind of thing the actual stacy range I, I thought it would be like a huge section but really it's just where i showed you otherwise just everything else is just um like standard Ooh. it's just like standard as done not necessarily stacy solomon oh that is cute little pumpkin throw for £5.50 could that be a dog bed throw hmm oh I don't know I don't know oh they've just got oh and they've got this one actually it's 17 that one's quite nice it's more of a thicker um thicker material that one or just like standard kind of plaid ones that one's actually quite nice to be fair I think the um I think the traffic center store which is like the superstore that I go to I think their home section is better than the a full Asda living store anyway. Let's have a look in TK Maxx and then I'm going to go straight over there to grab a coffee. I've never seen anything like this before in here. They're kind of like a, what you put in like maybe a boot room with the hooks and the little bench on the bottom. They are 12999. They've got the clearance on at the minute where they get the yellow label Zara bits for quite cheap. Like £4. They've got... Um, Bashka as well, Stradivarius. How nice are these little deck chairs? 
Let's see how much they are. They've got a pair of like beige ones. Oh, and they're in the clearance for 24 pounds. These are the sort of pots that I've been collecting and buying for our garden. Um, $8.99 for that size. That one's a nice one, actually. I like the little cutout. And then they've got some bigger ones. I'm not really a fan of the flower on those ones. Um, some like large terracotta pots. Again, that one's got a bit of a pattern on it. I prefer just the plain ones. These ones, the larger ones, are $29.99. Got the electricians in today. Just got back Vira Gales. Oh, I have to update you guys on my chiropractor appointment. I feel like a whole new woman. Well worth going. I'm actually, I think I'm going to be going for a, quite a few sessions initially just to, hello. Literally just got home, Barney's like, let me out. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, hello, puppy. Hello, gorgeous boy. What's this jumping up that you've started doing, hey? You never used to jump up. You never used to jump up, did you? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come Sit outside while it's nice. Bit of sunshine, but yeah, chiropractor appointment. Basically, I had um that first initial session which was oh I just sit on my little bistro set that we've got sat out here isn't that lovely covered in your fur i think you're shedding at the minute there must be a little bit of a seasonal shed going on hey what are you you're actually looking like you've done something naughty <laughs> why are you acting so weird you know sometimes if he's overly clingy i'm like what have you done what have you done? <laughs> um, but yeah, excited to see the progress. I, he took a photo, I don't know if it's a bit too much, a bit TMI to pop on here, but he took a photo of my legs when I was lying face down, how my feet were misaligned. And that's what I've been saying, pelvic misalignment the whole time. And after he cracked my back, cracked my neck, which feels so much better now. I couldn't even see my blind spot. It was that uncomfortable. Um, now, oh, amazing. Worked out some knots in my shoulders and yeah, took a photo afterwards of my feet perfectly level and I couldn't believe how out of line they were before I had the adjustments done. So, yeah. I've got to bring everything in to show everybody what I got from the charity shops. Although I might do that in a bit because like I said, the electricians are busy fitting some new lighting there. That's what these wires are out for. They're doing some sockets and lights around the uh, garden. For my lunch, I grabbed a tomato and artichoke quiche from Gales and a decaf mocha. I love their mochas that they do, which is so creamy and it's actually quite warm. <laughs> Could have got an ice drink today, but went for my usual nice little mocha. I feel like my uh, mascara I smudged a little today. Um, I have come up to the top floor, to Tom's room, I like to call it. We're on a standing desk, as recommended by the chiropractor. So I'm kind of getting into the habit of maybe doing a bit of work from up here, especially on the days that Tom is not at home, because I might as well take advantage of having this standing desk. Plus, it's good for my posture, but it's also, I think, good to just not be sat down it kind of gets you your body working a bit more but i've been editing some of this footage and as i was um looking at the install footage from this morning at uh, oxfam i totally forgot to mention that i met the lovely sandra who's been watching my videos for a while she remembered the house that i was in before i moved here and i was thinking gosh well we've been in this house almost coming up to four years now how crazy is that guys Four years in October it will be. I think we actually put in and off of this house in July. So yeah, four years. Right, Bon. He's licking his lips a lot and he usually does that when he's about to puke. Should we go downstairs? Do you want some water maybe? Should we go downstairs? Come on. Okay, we're gonna go downstairs. One second. Standing desk over for the afternoon. 
Are we focusing? Good morning. It's a new day. I just didn't vlog for the rest of yesterday. We've kind of been set out enjoying some sun in the garden. So I've got a couple of little mini garden updates. I'm not sure where I've last updated you guys. I know I've been doing updates on Instagram, but I'll just take you outside and show you what the garden is currently looking like. And it is sunny again today, so I'm sure we will get a couple of hours enjoying that. I also have from Batiste. I love Batiste dry shampoo. I've been using it for years and years and years. The original is the one that I usually go for. They've got this little miniature version, good for traveling. They've got this new scent BU, which is like a floral edition, blissful florals. But this, I was really intrigued to try this one that they sent because it's a... 24 hour active sweat activated technology so it refreshes your hair and releases bursts of freshness as you sweat so for me this is probably a really bad attitude to have but one of the main things that puts me off exercise is my hair getting gross and sweaty so hopefully this will help because i tend to do some kind of a workout whether it be go for a jog or some yoga or whatever on hair wash days that's my kind of exercise routine it's all around based around my hair washing routine so hopefully this will help that i'll just spritz a little bit now i don't need to um have it for like anti-sweatness already today oh, well i guess we're set in the sun i did wash my hair last night and just let it air dry in the sun so it's kind of frizzy got a bit of a natural curl but i thought i'm not going to put any extra heat on it today or this chunk of hair wash because I'm not really doing anything that needs you know that requires me to style my hair so I'll just spritz a bit of this let me just grab my mirror and see how we go with this oh it smells good I was gonna say it feels like a normal dry shampoo because I know they do some with like volume where it feels a bit stickier because it's more hairspray this feels this feels the same as just the original. However, I prefer the scent of this one. The original so far is my favorite scent they've ever done. I don't know why, it's just like the classic. Oh, that's really good, it's kind of like citrusy. I'm gonna continue to use this and see if I can get away with not having to wash it after a workout. Maybe add in an extra workout at some point this week, even if it's just doing some light exercise out in the garden or something and see if we can get away without washing my hair for now though i am just going to throw it up because whilst it's not been styled it does look a little bit messy i'm not gonna lie i also have received a parcel yesterday which i've opened up and not shown you guys yet but i did mention it on my youtube uh membership platform i don't even know if i've really talked about it it's something that's totally not obligatory type thing but there's like a separate s sort of section to my youtube channel whereby if you want to become a member you can get access to my videos that i upload a little bit earlier like just as and when i'm ready so sometimes it's days earlier sometimes it's hours earlier as and when i've uploaded the video i just kind of set it live to members so they can just watch it straight away and then for the rest of you it's like wednesdays and sunday uploads um, but i also do like the odd extra upload when you go onto my youtube channel you can see like subscribe if you're subscribed you would click that and it says subscribed and then there should also be a an, a button that says join of which you can join the membership side to it where i actually so for instance this little haul i uploaded straight away in real time it's a very kind of unedited edited version of me you know it's like potentially no makeup just no cuts and edits whereas these videos that I take time on and it takes longer to produce any extra kind of like bonus uploads are just very unedited raw just straight on that platform that the members can watch but anyway I have been sent stuff from this brand before it's called Alavine quite a long time ago now though and it's kind of like it reminds me of lounge underwear a little bit it's got sort of um workout gear it's got some bikinis swimwear it's got some underwear socks so quite similar i don't know if they're having like a closing down sale or they're just rebranding i'm not sure but they reduced everything on their website to a pound so hopefully they've still got some bits and you can check it out if you want to grab some bargains but 
Um, these are the few bits that I bought. I say few, there's quite a lot. So I've got some of their crew socks. I also got some of their underwear sets. I've got some like ribbed, um, high-waisted brief and matching um, little bra. Again, the quality of these. It's like a really soft, ribbed, quite supportive, this one. But yeah, a pound for this set, honestly. I couldn't believe my luck when I saw that they had so much for sale at a pound. This little set as well, it's like a black and white contrast, slightly different, it's kind of like the reverse, but again, a black and white contrast triangle and bottoms. Then I also got some like of their basic essentials range, so these briefs are in white, it's like an olive color, black, and the like mocha brown, and then also in the thong version, again, white and that mocha and then I also got the same white uh, bottoms the high-waisted ribbed ones in the black as well a little active wear top I thought this would be good more so for winter because it is long sleeves and it's got one of those like thumb holes so it really covers your whole hand even high-waisted leggings in this top maybe for horse riding and um, that could be nice a pound four pound and then also got some um like kind of seamless bra crop tops i relate these two they remind me of my sloggy ones which were definitely not a pound um and because they've got the kind of inbuilt cup but it's a very very super soft seamless uh edging that when you've got like tops on on top of this you just can't tell you're wearing anything so i've got that kind of rust color and then also this burgundy and then loads of swimwear options of which i picked up the same bikini in loads of different colors so we've got this kind of olive green color this is what the bikini actually looks like it's really nice and high cut with a simple triangle again with removable padding a simple triangle top so we've got this green color we've got a gorgeous pick it up like a sky blue baby blue this kind of champagne beige color kind of salmon pink and then again a kind of like rust option and then they also had like a super minimal triangle bikini these these ones are probably a bit small for me though so they do come up quite small um but this is the bottoms obviously the like, look how skimpy a good tanning one and then the top is just the same so i've got this red one and the same again in white I'm really happy with that but anyway i will show you my garden updates that i mentioned i was going to show you now whilst the sun is shining and then of course i've got to show you as well the bits that i did get from the charity shop which are just in here i'll show you that now i've got the olympics on in the tv in the uh, front room might as well just show you these whilst they're in here i can see the bins have been collected as well this morning so they need to be brought back in we did that stereotypical thing this morning i woke up and i was like tom the spin day we forgot to take out the bins so like i had to mad rush downstairs to uh, go and take them out anyway i'll show you these bits i got from the charity shop i've got loads of books for a mixture of styling and also for the content but uh these i think were these for on i think these were like 50p or something these ones so I got this Nigel Slater a Cook's Book. I remember that one being 50p because I remember thinking, I see that in Costco now, full price. Um, so yeah, a cookbook from Nigel Slater. We've got some styling books. This one it just says, it's like an older looking book and it, on the actual spine it says antiques in like a kind of gold foil. So I thought that could be nice styled up on there. And then we also got uh, a couple of books including this English garden embroidery and again I kind of get these more for the um taking off that front cover there we go once I've removed it properly is green and gold so I feel like it will work really nicely um there was actually one that they had there called herbs which I've already got in the kitchen I think I showed it on the vlog part um so yeah there's that, that's a really nice book if you find it in a charity shop for if you remove the cover and then there's this one as well gardens through time from bbc and again it's just a simple kind of gray stone color book or even just with the cover kept on i thought it'd be quite nice to have a bit of a flick through this one with us having just renovated the garden and on our 
garden learning journey. A couple of more books. We've got this one, which again, I loved the cover of this one. It's kind of like a cream and gold and black. Keeping an allotment, and again, could be interesting to learn about growing your own fruit and vegetables. So we've got herbs, and maybe now it's time to start thinking about about um yeah some more bits this one is the making of a garden i just quite like that cover it's quite pretty but this one was 2.99 and it again just is a really nice book without the cover itself so that one was yeah 2.99 the others were all i think they were four for two pounds so 50p each and then this one was $1.99. A couple of Zara home bits. $1.99, I got these hand sanitizers, which I'm going to throw one in each of our cars. The one that I've got in there currently is just running out. It's one of the Jo Malone dupes that Aldi do. But this one is in the scent Poetic Mind that Zara do. It yeah, just absorbs really nicely. Some more Zara home bits. I got this. $4.99 this one was. They had a few of these as well. They're like a, how would you describe that? Kind of a bronze metal effect candle holder. It's got the little gap there for like a tall church candle uh, that we could just use this as styling on the shelf somewhere. And then this was $1.99 and it's the scent O Incognito by Zara Home. This one is a hand and body wash these little napkins very out of season but happy easter 1.99 they had loads of those as well this cushion oh yeah this cushion cover was 6.99 kind of pricey but a really nice linen cushion cover with the black border and i think this would go quite nicely in here as well on this so if we see how we have two green cushions, maybe this one in the middle. So we just need to get an actual insert for that. It's a 45 by 45. This is my favorite find. They had a couple of these, they said, but they were down to the last one. And this one didn't have a price tag on. And she said, we did sell it for more, but you can have it for 7.99. Um, and I was like, amazing. So when I looked online, these are, I think it said 69.99 off Zara Home. So yeah, to get this for, Zara Home little kind of wheelie caddy laundry basket type thing that I think I'm going to pop down in our utility and just have it out just so that it's for ease a little basket down there. This one was $7.99. You've got a nice linen insert as well that is removable. It's on wheels. The little wooden handles either side. I just love this. This was another good find because you might recognize this. We have this lamp already we currently have it we had it in our kitchen i've moved it to our bedroom on one of the like the sideboard but i'm thinking now that we've got two exactly the same i might even pop them beside our bed on our tables i've always thought because we've got wall lights we don't need lamps on our tables but i do quite like the idea of having a lamp that you can just switch off beside your bed so yeah we're going to try this beside our bed and this is what it looks like the base is just like a rustic stone and then the shade itself is a nice linen now i paid full price for my other one which i think was about 80 pounds this one was 29.99 so yeah really happy with that and then we also have this zara pot which is kind of like a little planter but it's quite unique and it it's like a glazed bottom with a stone rustic top so it's in black with like a stone top and this one was $7.99 again originally a Zara home again at Zara home I got these two which I thought whoa we're not even in focus I thought these would be great for outdoor dining for hosting I've seen them style up these so these ones were $5.99 by the way mm, can we, yeah I can't see the original price either but $5.99 I paid for these and they just will go I'll show you now in the garden, our table, our dining table um, out there, to be able to have a couple of these in the middle of the table and you can have um, like a few little plates within. So say if we've got a load of like picky bits, like in little bowls, rather than just having loads of little bowls all around the table, it's kind of like home decor, how you would maybe pop things within a tray. It just makes it look like it's meant to be there and it's a bit less cluttered. So yeah, they're huge but perfect for that. So for 
for this time of the year for little barbecues and things um, or hosting friends just having little nibbles out. These will come in super, super handy. In fact, I'm hosting some friends this weekend. I might show you guys in my next vlog what I've been buying and like kind of prepping for lunch. So yeah, let me know if you wanna see that. So this is how we're looking out here. We've got currently the uh, dining table down here which we've got some chairs on order so again I'll show you them in my next vlog once they arrive this is how the outdoor kitchen is currently looking I think they were meant to be here today but they've not showed up so I don't know if they're coming back later on this afternoon or not but basically we've started the outer edge of the structure basically we're gonna have I think units along either side that middle section is the fire and then some more units this side with that Gosney oven in the corner so that obviously will all be moved and shifted and then I think for now we will just keep the dining table here originally we had plans to pop it here along here and then have like a sofa here but I do think that looks quite nice there with the chairs once they arrive we've had the hammock out to enjoy the sunshine a bit chaotic a bit messy down here but is what it is and then we've got our little bench which is from home sense i got this from i got a few more bits from home sense again i think i showed you on like a members video or in um on my instagram we've got a little stool over there that matches this longer bench and then the another little bench there they can come inside for like in winter we can maybe pop them downstairs we just pop on the old garden shoes aka my crocs with a little Barney Golden Retriever on and then yeah for now we've just kept the rest of the patio nice and clear Barney's dog bowl although a leaf's just flown in it then to this side of the patio I have a couple of pots again builders are just using this for now but a couple of pots here which again all from home sense oh is it a bit warm for you is it a bit warm we've got our little bistro set here that we've been having our morning coffee and working from as you can tell tom's kind of set up with his work set up set up there some more pots and this pot is from amazon it's on my storefront if you want to shop it little olive tree which i've noticed is sprouting up this is from b&m so yeah i think it's enjoying this position and then we've got these two huge olive trees which i managed to fit in my car i got these from the garden center i think we're having the magnolia trimmed back a little bit along with this branch here that sticks out because a load of pigeons sit on that branch can you see it that's sticking out and because they sit there it means that just on the edge of the patio we get a load of bird poop so we don't want that so we're just going to trim that branch off so we're going to probably trim this section back of the trees just lift them slightly and actually move the fire pit over to this corner and buy a couple of outdoor wooden chairs because originally we did say that was going to be the fire pit section but i'll show you the actual fire pit that we've got is quite small when we didn't have this uh cox and cox furniture set here and we had the fire pit in the middle it just looked so small so yeah i think that will actually fit better there it is over in that corner this little table stone side table is from asda that one is dobby's those two are home scents furniture cover here which i need to pop back on tonight because i think it might rain tomorrow some more pots and mirror and everything a lot of you are saying make sure to position this mirror out of the sun so what i think we might do is move it across to the other side of the garden we'll see or even if we just put it on that side because that side doesn't get the sun um but yeah some more rustic pots that i want to maybe have a bit more in sight because they are gorgeous and i don't want them kind of hidden away behind this furniture set now i know that that is probably what we're going to do and keep this here it also means that we'll keep that chimney here as well so that if ever we are sat here and we want a little evening fire we can get that one going um and yeah we've got the little galvanized kind of bin what are they called like a dolly can or something someone was telling me that you used to use them for washing your clothes with that's also dobby is the same one as the other we've got some plants i need to deadhead some of these they are not thriving <laughs> this little lavender is definitely coming through it was like a tiny little clearance find from the garden center that i do think has come back quite nicely so hopefully that should grow into some nice lavender the cosmos again a couple of um heads i need to trim off but this is thriving i bought this with just a single 
like one single flower like this and now look how many other like buds and everything obviously the bees are loving it but how many other buds are coming through so yeah that is thriving as is the white lavender we've got a little bit more purple lavender that i think is coming through some more white lavender and then this salvia seems to be doing quite well as well so i might even if this struggles uh, or even if those flowers at the end don't come through then I might replant some more salvia because I think that seems to do really well on this side and then the herbs if I'm just having a little snooze in the sunshine herbs are again thriving one thing about having a herb bed like this it smells beautiful whenever we've had sort of friends family over we just give them some sakatas and a little um, takeaway bag and just say help yourself anything that you want just take it the chives are doing really well uh, oregano is flowering i love it when all of these herbs are actually flowering the um where is it time here when we've been trimming this back to use it we've actually been trimming some of the flowers as well because you can use them as kind of like garnish um and yeah coriander's struggling otherwise everything else is thriving look at the chicory how it's flowering at the top it's so pretty angelica is quite contained as you can tell within there but it gets quite full so i quite like the look of it because it makes it feel quite full um but yeah we could definitely trim back some of that some lemon verbena is thriving lemon balm sage is struggling as well it's probably because it's in between the garden mint and the lemon balm so we might actually pot some sage and keep it separate rosemary we've been loving using this as well so that's been um thriving as well as mint basil and some other bits as well so yeah that is how the herb bed is looking the whole garden we're going to have to get a um weekly routine of maybe keeping on top of all these leaves and just keeping it all nice and neat and tidy um as you can tell tom's recently done the lawn but we don't really have a home for this at the minute we need to do something around the side here where we're going to store all of these bits and bobs for the garden oh someone's at the door but anyway i'm going to close off this vlog here thank you so much for watching hope you guys have enjoyed subscribe for more like this video if you enjoyed it and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next one bye guys